Hi guys, Elon Sage from Coles Boutique here and today we're going to show you how to professionally build a jazz bass pickup. Makes me really excited about this video because uh, the techniques we're going to show you can be applied to other pickups such as Stratocaster pickup. Let's do it. Let's start with the pickup parts. Start with the magnets. We have eight of them. These are Alnico 5. We have the flat work with two eyelets inserted, some pushback wire, of course the pickup cover, four mounting screws, and a rubber cushion for height and adjustment. Of course, coil of your choice. This is a 42 gauge wire. The tools for the job are the magnet aligner we'll put this on thingiverse you can print it yourself we have spacers for the height of the bobbin um, this is the hammer that we're going to use for the magnets of course electrical wire cutter this device is a magnet polarity tester we made this tool it has two holes with the size of the magnets to help us insert we have pliers and we need also a scalpel might be very very helpful phillips head screwdriver paper pickup tape our soldering kit with our soldering iron and of course a multimeter we have some naphtha some uh, paper towel cotton wool and two anvils and of course our own pride and joy self-made winding machine of course you can buy a machine but we decided to build one and it is perfect this is our magnetizing apparatus using two very strong neodymium magnets this is our waxing bowl you can use beeswax paraffin wax or a combination of the two let's go to work we'll use the aligner and put the bottom flat work on top of it uh, and insert the magnets through the holes using the hammer. Uh, it's very important to make sure the eyelets are facing up. Now let's take everything out of the aligner, turn it upside down and place the top uh, flat work on the pickup and lightly hammer it into place. Now we'll use the uh, height spacers so we can uh, choose correctly uh, uh, the height of the bobbin. It's very, very important. You can use various different heights for different uh, tones. Um, remember this uh, thingy we made uh, from brass, we are using it to hammer everything into place and to uh, fasten everything on the uh, height uh, spacers, like so. Now it's a great time to magnetize everything, we'll pass the bobbin through the magnets, we'll do it north up, but you might need to do the south up. You can use the polarity tester to see everything is correct. White is north and black is south. Perfect. Before we wind the pickup, we need to insert our coil through the eyelet a few times. So everything is tight and secured. This pickup is going to be wound counterclockwise and that's why we're starting with this eyelet and not the other one. Now we have to uh, place the bobbin. We use uh, a double-sided sticky tape and a screw. And 
everything sits firmly in place. We hold our coil with our fingers and we make a few turns just to see that everything fits correctly and then we start increasing the speed and move our hand back and forth to build up layers. As you can see, we're checking our turn counter and the more windings you have, of course, the higher the DC resistance and the lower resonance peak you're gonna get. Usually just base pickups take a few thousand of turns, maybe 9,000 or 8,000 turns. After we're done, we can remove the pickup from the plate of the machine like so very gently and check out the coil that we've just built. Need everything neat, clean, straight, no humps, no lumps. Perfect. Now we'll take the end of the wire and insert it through the other eyelet so everything is tight and secured. Let's solder everything together. We'll solder the wire to the eyelet. We use about 400 uh, centigrade. That's one. And that's two. Try not to breathe the smoke. Let's test this pickup using our multimeter and see the result. We have 7.89k ohm, which is great. It's alive! It's time to place the pickup in the molten wax. We use a sieve and lightly lower it down into the wax. So oh, this is so satisfying. Mm. After about 20 or 30 minutes, it's time to take the pickup out. It's a little bit warm, but okay to the touch. We're gonna use this paper towel to clean the pickup from all the excess of the, uh, the excess wax and we just absorb everything to the towel. We'll try not to touch the coil itself, only the top and bottom uh, of the pickup. Like so, and we'll just let it sit for a while to cool down and harden. This is nice. The pickup has cooled down and now we use some naphtha and cotton wool to clean any excess residue. We'll do this only on the top and bottom of the pickup um, and you shouldn't do this on the coil. Please don't touch it. We're using this paper pickup tape to secure and protect the coil after it was in the wax. Some manufacturers don't do this, but we really like to. All secured and protected. And it should look exactly like this. We wire the black wire to the start of the coil. Very, very gently and not to heat it too much. These are pushbacks. They're called pushbacks because you can push them back. And the white wire goes to the end of the coil. It's time to check the pickup again using the multimeter. Let's see the result. 
7.95, a little bit higher than what we started with, but because the pickup is a little bit warm from the waxing, it's fine. And we're in the final step. We'll just attach the foam, the hiding foam on the pickup. Place your cover and you have a functioning pickup. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So this is the end of this video and you also can be an expert at making jazz bass pickups. Subscribe, like and check out our next videos. All the best guys.